Vysort is a two-dimensional platformer that goes pretty hard on the nostalgia. I am surprised that it seems so passed over. I know Steam is crowded, but come on. All right, well, let me go over the gameplay and you tell me what you think. As expected, the gameplay is straightforward. The goal is to collect five power crystals from bosses. Once collected, you can take on the final boss. The whole process doesn't take long, but it's well put together. A run can probably be completed in about an hour. You start off on the overworld map and each section of the map is one level made up of several screens. It's usually around five screens for a level and on the screen you need to kill all the enemies before the door opens to the next. Then some of the levels have a boss at the end. After completing a level you head back to town to spend your gold on upgrades, health pots, items. This continues until you reach the final boss. Your character's mechanics are simple. There are only two types of attacks, a normal and heavy. While the normal attack is quick and great in a tight spot, the heavy attack should not be discounted. Not only does the heavy attack give you more money, it's also a one hit kill on most enemies and chops off their head, which is just so satisfying. The heavy attack is much riskier to pull off since it has some movement to it. You need to be exact. The character slides across the screen and if it doesn't match up perfectly, you'll probably take damage. There is a slight delay after the attack animation finishes. The risk reward of the heavy attack is fantastic. If you can pull it off, you're rewarded considerably since money is so tight. It's actually worth it to master and will let you breeze through screens a lot faster. There are ranged attacks as well, but the bow doesn't hit hard enough to justify taking the time to aim. You're not going to win a ranged versus ranged battle either. Also, you can only carry 10 arrows at a time, and since the damage is so small, I really don't understand the use. You also miss the bonus from using the heavy sword attack. The bow is somewhat useful for blowing up barrels to kill enemies, but that's so situational. Anyway, if you want to fight with only the heavy attack, one strategy becomes clear. What you do is hit an enemy with a normal attack and drop down to a lower level. This will force the enemy to drop down as well. Time their landing with your heavy attack and you can hit them almost every time. The enemy is helpless while falling and this gives you a lot of leniency that I don't think was intended. It's cheesy and gets repetitive, but this is by far the safest way to play. I don't know what they could have done differently though. If the enemies didn't drop down, then you could hit them through the floor over and over. That's cheesy, at least with my strategy you cut their heads off. While this does make the normal screens a little bit like a chore, they're not easy. Even with my ultimate strategy, I took damage. There is usually a very difficult combination of enemies on the screen, especially if they include multiple ranged enemies. One thing that helps the game from getting stale is the raven that carries a key. If you can reach the raven before it flies away, the key unlocks a chest that will spew gems and money. Rushing to get the bird will probably result in taking damage. You'll get careless. I really like this mechanic since it adds on more risk reward and forces the player to take aggressive action in the levels. So to get those power crystals, you need to defeat the bosses. They're tough but fair, not cuphead levels of difficult, but enough that it's not a walk in the park. It's a pattern based fight, so once you learn the pattern, it does get easier. It will take a bit of practice to master them all. But that's kind of the point. Thy Sword has three different ways to play. First is the easiest, and gives the player an unlimited amount of continues. Obviously, this is great for practicing those bosses. Next, there's a limited continue option where the player can only continue three times. Finally, there is a no continue option where you need to beat the game in one run, no deaths. That's the way it's really meant to be played. If you play through with unlimited continues, thy sword feels too easy. Since continuing is so easy and quick, you don't even realize how many times you're doing it. However, that all changes once permadeath is enabled. And this is where you'll get the most out of the game, since you'll have to retry from the beginning each time you die. Also, to spice things up, you could play as one of the other character types. You'll unlock them as you come across them in the game. Really, the only difference between them is their starting gear, though. 
Other than that, there's not much to it. Thy sword is going for the nostalgia, so it keeps everything simple. It's much closer to several hours of gameplay than several months. They could have done a bit more with the overworld map and the randomized level layouts are okay. The randomized part doesn't always create an amazing layout. But the art and music are classic and really well done. I had fun overcoming the game's challenge. While it's a little generic, Thy Sword pulls off what it set out to do. A retro platformer that is difficult, but not impossible. Thanks for watching.